ever told you you look like Evan Basso. This is Evan Basso here. We're actually the same height and weight, so maybe. But I think Evan looks a bit more tan than I do right now. <laughs> Next question is, Hello, ha Hals. I'm considering doing some supplementing with vitamin B12. I know you view injections as far superior to pills, so I won't even ask about the latter. Do you happen to know that if I choose the B12 injection, are they relatively similar and vegan especially? B12 is produced, the injections I use is produced synthetically in a lab. And the only preservatives use, the only preservatives they use, it isn't mercury like people say, which you can look up, if, you know, which you'll never find. If you do find it, tell me. And, you know, I've never found it after like five years of looking. They use sodium chloride and acetic acid, which is salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar flavored chips in your B12 injection. And it's synthetic, so it's not out of some horse cadaver or, you know, someone from a, a Russian prison in East Block where their eyeball comes out or whatever. It's all good. It's synthetic. It works 100%. And people say th synthetic things don't work, but cyclists, we take synthetic testosterone. I don't, but I know cyclist friends who take synthetic testosterone, and it fucking works. <laughs> Up the fucking road. So synthetic shit works. If you need it, you need it. And uh, I'm not saying testosterone. I'm saying you know, the vitamin B12. Any brand you like, any brand is the same, as long as it's Big Pharma. Big Pharma is the way to go because it's clean. Because it's a vitamin. And if Big Pharma fucks you around, then they get sued. They don't want to do that. There's no anti-vaccine groups, like uh, anti-B12 groups, you know what I mean? So people think because it's a B12 goes into your arm like a vaccine, it's the same. But it's like saying drinking water is the same as drinking vodka because it comes in a glass and it looks the same. Vodka, water looks the same. Vaccine, B12, it looks the same. A different label, but it's diff totally different. Totally different. One's a vitamin, one's, a, one's nasty. What's the standard dose? Standard dose is 1,000 microgram. If you have a clinical B12 issue, then the standard dosage is roughly once a day for a week or three times a week for a week, and then once a week for a month, and then once monthly as needed. I'm getting bitten by mosquitoes here. Frequency of administration, again, it depends on where you come from. If you've got a clinical deficiency, then you want to have you know at least three shots in the first week, 1,000 microgram, and then 1,000 microgram shot per week for a month. I've done enough videos about this, but... So one, you know, three times a week, 1,000 microgram, and then 1,000 microgram per week for a month, and then once monthly as you need it. If you're doing a lot of racing, or if you've got a lot of stress, or if you've got a lot of weight to lose, or if you've had a Crohn's disease like I've had, had a lot of Crohn's disease in the past, so the B12 injections have definitely been uh, kicked my levels up substantially. If I start doing the honours myself, what gauge needle works best? I use a 25 gauge, which is a fatness by 25 millimeter, so it's a one inch, so 25 by 25, easy, 25 squared, 25 width, 25 length, done. And you use a one mil syringe or a three mil syringe, whatever. I find the three mil syringe is easy to pull it up than the one mil, but you can go either. These mosquitoes are giving me, B, trying to take my B12 out of me, little buggers. And uh, you pick up from any pharmacy in the West, some countries need a prescription, some countries you don't. Also, the variance among countries as to appropriate blood levels is pretty confusing. What would you say is a bare minimum? Well, I'm not an expert on this. I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not a, a clinical researcher, but I do read the data from the clinical researchers and the medical doctors who specialize in the vitamin B12 issue. And the general consensus is anything under 550 is, is enough to warrant supplementation. Any homocysteine levels that are over 10 or 12, then that's indicating that you should get on the B12 bandwagon. Any urinary MMA that's elevated, then start shooting up the old E312. And people say, oh, but you need to eat animal products. <laughs> I hear this so many times, I keep laughing about it, and I'll hear it for the rest of my life, and so will you. It's like only be, only vegans can have a B12 issue. The reality is a lot of, I went, I came to this vegan lifestyle because I almost died doing the paleo primal lifestyle and I had a clinical B12 deficiency as a primal eater. And then my naturopath at the time put me on B12 supplements, like tablet form. And I've got blood tests to show this and I'll, I'll put those up shortly. Uh, so I almost died on the paleo primal thing. I had B12 deficiency, I had anemia back then as well. So I'd encourage people to do your homework. If only vegans get a B12 issue, then that means only vegans use B12, but if you go to Mark Sisson's forum, you know, if you go to Mark Sisson's website rather, you go to his store and you buy his little supplement, the supplement dosage he recommends, he recommends taking vitamin B12 three times a day, 10,000 micrograms, three times a day. 
That's what Mark Sisson recommends in Method Development. So that's just all those primal paleo dudes are supplementing B12. Everybody's something B12. If you drink Red Bull, it's got B12 added to it. If you eat meat from the shop, that's the meat is injected with B12 before slaughter. Look it up. Meat and Dairy Livestock Australia website. Look it up. It's They're fed B12 or they're injected B12 prior to slaughter. Pigs, fish even, things like that. They're fed the B12 to raise the levels up so it meets the consumer expectations for that product. It's just how it is. It's You, know, you, can, you can look it up on the internet. That's what I love about internet. People can go, oh, you know, it's not true. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. It's all true, 100%. It's not my opinion. It's fact. It's fact. And I've got many a raw meat-eating friends that eat all raw, all organic animal products. They eat dead kangaroos on the side of the road. They eat feces. They eat their own feces. They eat kangaroo feces. They eat fruit bats. They'll eat maggots. They'll eat chickens. They'll eat anything, anything from an animal. They will eat it. They make that uh, Anthony Bourdain guy look like a wuss. They eat anything. They eat some nasty shit. I've seen one of them eat black meat. No, it wasn't black because it got cooked. It was black because it got rotten. I've seen him eat green meat. Green eggs and ham. I've seen that shit, man. Anyway, they um, they all have B12 deficiencies, except for two of them that are now doing the B12 shots. So after 10 years, 5 years, depending on the person, but my good friend, he's been doing it for 10 years, and we got his levels checked in March 2011, and he was still low B12. So I said, Harley, those B12 injections haven't killed you. Shoot me up, son. So we got his, we did his uh, course of B12 injections, and his levels are you know, over 1,000 now. So it's all sorted. So if you eat animal products thinking you get enough B12, you're kidding yourself. It's like, it's like saying, riding a bike's dangerous. If you drive a car, you're totally safe. <laughs> if you're vegan, it's dangerous. You won't get enough B12. Eat meat, you're totally safe. And that's when meat eaters get B12 deficiencies and die from B12 deficiencies. You've got more chance of dying from a, a B12 deficiency if you're meat eater because you're all blasé, you're all naive, you're all like cocky and confident. I'm okay, I'm getting enough B12. And if you don't, and you get a B12 deficiency and it manifests in peripheral neuropathy or you get schizophrenia or depression, your doctor says, are you a vegan? And if you say no, they're like, we don't need to test your B12, so they'll test for other things. So you can get this B12 deficiency and get permanent nerve damage because you're eating meat, plus the heart disease, etc. because you, your B12 deficiency gets undiagnosed. Lucky for me, being a vegan, doctors were like, oh, we've got to check your B12, and then it came up low. And then it's like, well, actually, it came up low before, like it's back in 2000, and it was really sick. So... It's, it's fantastic being a vegan because you learn so much more about your body. You're not one of the, the drones out there just you know, shoveling in status quo food and eating your steak and dairy. You, you're actually eating good, nutritious plant foods and you're getting some nutrition there. So you've got to do your homework. So I hope that answers the questions. Is there a, ever a point where continually improving lifestyle will, will render the supplement unnecessary or is this a lifelong commitment? Well, I'll stop doing B12 when I'm not racing anymore, when I don't have the internet stress anymore, when I don't have any stress anymore, where I'm just living with the spiders and the mosquitoes out in the jungle and I'm drinking stream water that's totally unpolluted and I'm eating fruit from the jungle and weeds from the ground and I'm sleeping on the bare earth every day. Like today, I just slept at the beach, actually just woke up. And it was just so cool, sleeping on the dirt. And I think, well, this is what we do in nature. So in nature, we're breathing in all the bacteria, the friendly bacteria all the time. We wouldn't have any antiseptics and sterilization of washing food and chlorine water or showering chlorine water and flying in airplanes I fly all around the world I'm breathing in pollution all the time they're on the plane they're fumigating the plane I'm breathing that in I'm I'm winning bright races I'm running marathons and winning running ma running races in the pollution sucking it in just I was out training this morning I'm running around the hills and there's cars passing me I'm running up hills people have to drive a car up there to just get to the top and I'm running up there and I'm, I'm sucking all the exhaust and so when that gets all done, then, you know, there's no need for B12 supplements because the, the world will become a purer place and there won't be any pollution anymore. B12 is produced by bacteria. Bacteria can't grow in a chemical world. They just get wiped out. So your levels get whacked out in certain individuals, myself as well, extra sensitive. So I'll be doing B12 shots as long as necessary. And they only take 30 seconds and they cost hardly anything when you're doing the cheap stuff in the Thailand or Australia. It's just boom in your arm, you're done. I can do a, a B12 shot in a TV commercial break, you know, it's like, I can do a B12 shot while I'm waiting for my data raid to blend up. It's so quick and easy, it's so cheap in Thailand, they're 10 cents each, I think 10 cents each. Yeah, 10 cents each in Thailand, in Australia about $5 each. So super cheap stuff. And uh, just look online, look at the testimonies. Another thing I want to add is that people, 
often have been, they email me and say, Harley, I've done the B12 shots, I feel fucking amazing, I'm doing all this stuff, I'm losing so much weight, I'm leaning up, my digestion is fantastic, thanks for recommending them, I was a bit sceptical at the start, but man, those B12 shots work, I've been doing sublinguals or nasal spray or pills for ages, didn't do shit, and now I'm on the B12 shots, I'm putting on more muscle, I'm getting more shredded, I'm getting lean, I'm fitting my, that tighter dress better, my stomach's flatter, digestion's better, depression's gone, whatever, I get a lot of these emails from people, so, and it took me years to uh, do my homework before I recommend something, and, and I'm recommending B12 shots. So look, do your own homework and see what you think, and, and let me know, you know down below. Type your comments of your experience after doing a course of B12 shots. And the good thing is the shots are cheap, and you don't have to do all the expensive testing and continual testing to worry if it's working or whatever. Just do the shots and you're done, man. You don't have to worry about testing at all because you're 100% going to get guaranteed B12 improvements if you're doing B12 injections, just boom, straight in the arm, done. It's just in there. It's no, there's no bypassing any. Uh, there's no digestion issues or whatever. It's just like, pff, just don't keep them in your pocket. Keep them cool. Follow the directions in the packet and love it. Post your comments down below. Let me know how it all goes for you. And uh, did you lose weight or did you get increased muscle or fitness or release of depression and anxiety? What happened for you on your B12 shots? Let me know. Sublinguals, pills, and rays and patches generally don't work they might work small percent they might work but don't waste your time and money in my opinion do the b12 intramuscular shots that's just i mean i'm into the best i don't want to like waste time and money doing shit that doesn't work or might work or maybe works or sometimes it works i'm into doing stuff that works 1000 percent of the time so b12 injections that's the best i've got more friends who eat meat and take b12 shots than i have who are vegan and take B12 shots. All my cycling friends, or guys I race with, all doing B12 shots. That's how I sort of learned about B12 injections back in 1996. A cyclist friend of mine who got me into cycling said, make sure you get a B12 shot every month. Of course, I didn't because I was like, oh, that's needles, that's like weird looking stuff, but you know. And he's like, no, you need the B12 shots and stuff. But I never did until like back in 2009. So 13 years later, I've got the B12 shots, but thanks to Darren for getting those into my mindset anyway. So definitely. People just have this mentality that it's just a vegan thing or whatever like that. But it's like, man, if you train in any gym, if you've got any friends who are Olympic athletes or world-class cyclists or runners, everyone's in the B12 shots. If you've got any weight loss clinics in LA or Malibu, B12 shots, B12 shots, B12 shots. It's the only vitamin supplement I take. It's the only one I recommend because a lot of the other stuff is just bogus, dangerous, nasty stuff. So B12 injections definitely... They get my thumbs up for sure. It's the only supplement I take. It's the only supplement I recommend. And the funny thing is, people will still go, but you need to eat meat for B12. But you've got all the paleo primal people who eat the most meat on the planet, and then they're all taking B12 injections or taking B12 in Mark Sisson's little supplement package every, three times a day. And you go to your local gym and say, I'm a vegan. They're like, you won't get enough B12. You've got to eat meat. So and they're eating steak for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and they're doing B12 injections at least once a day, all the competition level bodybuilders do. So looking up. Judge my results, not my theory. You just gotta laugh at the hypocrisy.